Hello and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you this uh, 124 scale Lamborghini Veneno. Um, this is a partly made body. The brand I never ever heard of it before. And this is a brand called Double Horses. Now this is very bizarre, and because I never received the actual packaging, <laughs> because I got it from AliExpress for about twenty pound. So the way they do is the uh, they advertise you with the uh, the car name. Sometimes they don't even spell it right, actually. <laughs> Um, they put the uh, pictures on it and sometimes a little bit of videos and then you judge it, you go from there basically and you're not sure what you're getting yourself into or what brand it is because they never mention it on the AliExpress website so when you get it and then you don't even have packaging so they just put you in a bubble wrap and then they put it in a styrofoam box and then that, that's it <laughs> so until you actually flip it over the car and then you see oh okay this is made by what? who is this? You know, I've never seen this brand before, so there we are. So now I am fairly surprised to say that this is actually a good model. Okay, so this is actually, in fact, better than the Burago and Maestro, or even Welly, actually. Now, the reason why I say that is that because this one has the uh, quite a lot of features that those normal, typical 124 skill don't have. And so I'm going to get to that in a second, but I want to explain to you how AliExpress actually work. So uh, it is a little bit gamble, okay? So there are two model cars which I ordered from AliExpress, which I never decided to show it on my channel because they are actually crap. And the reason why I say that is because the, uh, even the box says a 124 scale, they advertise it very clearly that it's 124 scale Rolls Royce. One is Phantom, one is a drop head or something like that, coupe version. Looks cool on a photo, and but you will not know it until you actually get it and compare with the normal 124 skill that you already have from Burago or Welly. Now you will notice like, oh, something is wrong here, right? So the, for the start, the wheels are very small and it is the same length, okay, but it's very thin and everything about that model is very weird it even though it has have the a lot of opening part and it even have a sound and it even have a led light effects on it it just doesn't make sense then because the spirit at the sea is a like huge my 118 skill models are you know the spirit at the sea is so small but in these rose wise are massive so i decided to give it away for my friend children birthday gift or whatever or christmas gift or whatever so there we are and decided not to keep it and also not going to show it on my channel because it's kind of embarrassing actually and the seller it's not the seller fault by the way the sellers actually show me the packaging and this is a packaging it's called chishi or something like that i can't remember the name and another one d uh dxl or d something like that as well i can't remember the name either it's very bizarre and they do make a lot of models in china so you gonna have to watch out some of the models they do is really cool and you will not get this in the western market alright so even Burago they have the Falari SF90 and they have a window version and the opening part and then Maisto has the uh, this, uh, Chevrolet uh, Stingray and they have opening part and window and brake disc and caliper as well so they do make better version in Asian market especially like uh, these little models that I mentioned it and also Bugatti Devo they have windows brake disc and caliper and extra opening part so I may upgrade those one later on I decided to upgrade my Maestro uh, Bugatti Devo to something else and uh, I'm not sure what I'm getting myself into actually until I actually receive it later on and uh, so I'm gonna show you all this stuff on my channel later on and also I order a couple like uh, W motor uh, Fena, Fenya I don't know how to smell uh, pronounce this model and uh, I know that the other one is a Lycan so I'm going to show you these two as well. I hope that they are correct skill. If they are, then I'll be showing you on my channel. Okay. Now let's look at this uh, Lamborghini from the start. So from the start, that first impression is really nice because it has a de decent thick, you know, plastic windows. I measure on the scales as well. This is about weigh 330 gram, which is not bad. It's a decent die cast in here. And the paint job is really good. It's consistent throughout everywhere. There is no blob or uneven or anything like that. So it's really nice. You got braided and caliper as usual. The wheel spin really nicely. The back though has suspension. Obviously, you don't expect that in the uh, normal 124 scale. But I got to tell you this. The front do have a suspension. 
okay <laughs> this is awesome it's, I, I never thought that they do have it but the feedback is really good as well nice kick and really nice and smooth the tires are soft it's like a just like a welly but i think this model feel even better than welly actually because when i turn the steering wheel and then you can see the uh, the wheel as the wheel move the steering wheel also move as well and the way that this steering wheel and this front wheel turn is really nice and smooth and feel really nice quality actually there is not a single gap in there the interior is really nice as well uh, all the dials and knobs is there so you can see there is not a single gap all the gaps are nicely sealed it's all good quality here normally the scissor door like this is always a bit shaky uh, i have a few welly like this and also buago they are a bit shaky but this one seems to be a little bit tighter which is better than these two um company and then you got your glory effects uh, or italian flex around it you got deep uh, holes in there this is where air intake is which is the way it's supposed to be and you got engine tray can also open and the paint job in the hidden areas are also not too bad it's not very good but it's not too bad and also that these hinges are better and thinner as well and you are go and make sure they have a huge one i mean look at the car okay there's 124 scales and the dog leg style is so big engine details are there but it's not very exciting obviously but at least you can see something in it and also you got a decent plastic on the uh, back here and uh, my porsche um, 992 has the uh, normal plastic line with a painted on it but this one is actual clear red plastic which is better quality and make, make it looks more realistic and you got all the carbon fiber plastic around which is decent quality i wouldn't say that's too good but it's okay for 124 scale and you got painted all around on the bumper you got exhaust pipe you got a little bit underneath detail and uh, the light detail on the front is also not too bad you can see a little bit of daytime running lights and stuff like that as well which is also good so in general this is very good model um i'm very happy with that now let's check out this brand all right this is a brand that you never seen it before so here we go so i zoom in as much as i can so this is a logo called double horses uh, it has two horses with two circles around so that's the one that i see here um so there we are so this is a brand and uh, hopefully and uh, they make small model and the problem is i cannot tell i asked the seller who made this model and they don't even know who made it <laughs> okay so some of them will tell you some of them no uh don't so they don't even understand english so that's a problem so there we are but this is really a good model okay so i really thoroughly recommend the 124 scale for this um double horses so welcome to the uh, die cast world so anyway thanks for watching and uh, i will see you in the next video